in the last session of the video i have seen the bromination how that a brominating mixture which is going to attack with the aniline but here also we can see here nitration of aniline i mean aniline uh, group which is going to be attracted by the this uh, nitration nitration is nothing but nitrating mixture so uh, here strong acids like hno3 and h2so4 they will be combined to do the no2 group that is uh, so that's why these two acids are called as a nitrating mixtures so which is going to produce the nitro group to so, when it attacks to the aniline group so let's see here you know that aniline aniline which is going to react which is going to react with the mixtures of hno3 and s2so4 then only it produces the no2 group at 288 kelvin so what is going to be for so you know that aniline is uh, electrophilic substitution reaction very well at uh, ortho and para will be the main uh, major products i can tell but here what happens let's see here when, the, when i take these mixtures what happens so this is also strong acid and this is also strong acid due to this strong acid and one more parameter this aniline is very basic in nature okay because of this lone pair of electrons which uh, it attacked as a lewis base so what happens so which attacked towards this acid it is going to get h plus that is called nh3 plus so that is called anilinium ion anilinium ion because these are the acids and this is a base when acid and base combine what is going to form obviously salt is going to be formed so this name is anilinium ion i mean this nitrogen is now deficient so what will do so which withdraws the electrons from the benzene ring in last previous video we have seen that this nh2 group is activating group which is going to use the lone pair of electron towards the benzene ring but here which withdraws the electrons from this benzene ring because of its deficient okay and electron density is going to be decreases so what here what happens like this in the aniline ion we are going to expect three products one is ortho para obviously it will be there and also meta positions so because of this uh, deficient and because of this aniline ion so i am going to write the product okay so three products we are going to obtain that's why i am going to use three aniline and three acids group so we are going to expect here ortho nitro group which is going to also form as well as meta group is also going to be formed and also para group we are also going to expect here and here what you get this ortho position we are going to get very less percentage because of withdrawing effect mainly which affect on this ortho position that why we are going to obtain only 2% we are going to obtain here and i and due to this anilinium ion due to its uh, deficient charge of nitrogen atom which withdraws electrons meta position is also formed here we are going to expect here 47% and remaining will be the para positions so because here at para positions of the aniline group there will be effect i mean uh, withdrawing effect will be very less that's why you are going to obtain the maximum product 51% we are going to obtain and the nitro group is attached with aniline so in order to overcome this one what we have to do so that is one method is there i am going to block this ns2 group i mean which is going to be not affected how can i do so that's why i am going to react this aniline with acetylation acetylation is nothing but acetic anhydride i am going to react acetic anhydride with this ns2 i am going to block it so then only it act as a you know, very good electrophilic substitution reaction in last previous video we have seen that when aniline is treated with acetic anhydride so that is going to be this this group uh, or total aim is we are going to protect this ns2 group by treating with acetylation so let's see the mechanism how it is going to be protect this ns2 group by acetylation so how we are going to protect this ns2 group by using this acetylation let's we can see here so this name is acetic anhydride and this is your primary amine so that is called aniline so what happens here so when uh, whenever you are going to use this acetylation with one thing is we have always keep it in our mind that we are going to eliminate the acetic acid okay acetic acid is ch3 
three double bond O and one more hydrogen from this side. Okay, so acetic acid we are going to remove here. So I am showing here. So this is H group CH three COH. We are going to admit CH three C double bond O OH and remaining which is going to attack with C double bond CH three. So why are S N one reaction? And why how because this lone pair of electrons. So this is the partial death positive and negative charge of the oxygen. So which comes and attack with this carbon. Five bonds will be there. So that's why it goes to O minus and back donation will be there. Again it comes here and also here the electron negativity difference between oxygen and carbon. Carbon is I mean uh, less electron negativity. So that's why this oxygen obstructs the bond pair of electron towards. So now it eliminates as a C H three C double bond O O minus and here also H plus which is going to eliminate because of the electron negativity difference between nitrogen and hydrogen. So this will act as a minus. I mean uh, this hydrogen is going to be removed here with along with this one. So this group is going to be attack here. That is what C H three C double bond O C H three. How you can see here. So that is we are going to obtain a acetylene dye. Yeah. 